Hello guys! Hello! And welcome back. We are Desiree and Fabio and we live in our self-converted Sprinter van on Forteventura. Yes, and you guys probably can hear from this really strong wind that we got today that we are in Forteventura. Yeah, there's a really, really big sandstorm going mm -hmm. on right now. Yes. So guys, in today's video, we're gonna show you how we finally finished the upper cabinet door. It was a mission. Yeah, mm -hmm. we decided to go for a really nice and cozy cabin style mm -hmm. with some really dark green paint and some pine tree wooden cabinet doors. As you can see. Yes, we actually, for the door, we decided to go for a really particular style of handles. Mm -hmm. They're not the prettiest one, of yeah. course, <laughs> but they actually really function really good yeah. and they serve two purposes. One is actually to uh, lock in place the, the door and the other one is actually to have a handle to open it. Yeah, you just need to push it and then you can open the cabinet doors and when it's pushed in, they're just gonna stay and you can't open them anymore. Yes. And now we're just gonna show you how we install it. Good morning. We took two days off from the van build. We needed a little break. After we finished our beautiful toilet room, we thought it is time to take a step back and just appreciate what we've done so far. And um, yeah, get our minds a little bit off from the build is always helping. We had some friends over. There were a couple of things that we had to celebrate. And from today on, we're back on the build. And the first thing that we are going to do is figuring out the doors from our upper cabinets. I use these guys. Yes. We already used them before to check some stuff out, but they were way smaller than this one. This one uh, looks stronger and looks they can actually hold the doors yes. because before we installed them and uh, they were actually not holding anything. Yeah, they were a little bit too small. And yeah, now we're just trying to figure out these bigger ones and hopefully they're going to hold our door from our upper cabinets. we do all day? Struggle. Pretty much nothing. At least that's what the car looks like. Mm. It's not really big changes happened. No. A lot of work, a lot <laughs> of thinking for sure, but... A lot of fighting uh, between us. Yeah, it was like really <laughs> tough day. But I think now we figured out how these hinges are working. Um, mm. They are not gonna hold the door open. So no, for that we need to find another solution. Yeah, we're probably going to have a harm on the side so they can stay open the, the doors. And uh, we were hoping these hinges were enough, but they don't. So we're just going to work around it. Yes, so now we're kind of using them just as normal um, piano hinges. Mm -hmm. So they're just kind of opening the door and work as an anchor point for the door. And we're gonna find a solution for how to keep the door open when we want to have it open later. Mm -hmm. But for now, this is enough. <laughs> Good morning, guys. As you can see from the outfit, it's a beautiful, beautiful day today. The sun is shining, we are really motivated today. Yesterday was a little bit of a slower day, but today we feel really good and we finally found the color that we're gonna use actually in the upper cabinet and the cabinets of the kitchen and that was like something that was bothering us a little bit. But um, today we're just gonna start and uh, we're gonna finish hopefully 
the upper cabinets here. We already uh, installed the doors over there. As you can see at the back, they look really, really good. But now we need to take it down, measure where the center is gonna be, drill some, some holes and actually put the push button in there. So yesterday I put the first coat of varnish in our upper cabinet doors and today I'm going to apply the second coat and before I do that I need to sand everything with a really really fine sandpaper. This is a 400 and just give it a really quick sand. Because of the varnish all the structure from the wood pops up again and it feels like you didn't sand it at all. But yeah, you just need to give it a really quick sand and after you can varnish it again and it's gonna be super smooth and super nice. I just put the varnish on the doors for the upper cabinets at the back of the car and in the meantime Fabio sent the wood filler on the upper cabinets in the front of the car. It looks amazing now, everything is nice and smooth and these ones are ready to paint now and now also Fabio put the wood filler on the cabinets here on the back so we can after sand it and then also paint it and hopefully at the end of the day today finally really <laughs> these upper cabinets are gonna be finished You can already see it here next to me. Our overhead cabinets are now in a really, really dark green. Almost appears like black on the camera and that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted to have it as dark as possible in with a greenish tint, so it is perfect. We are so in love how it turned out. I still need to apply a third coat where I use the roller, which means here underneath and on the sides, there are still some spots that are light. And yeah, I'm gonna do that in an hour or so and then after when everything is dry we can attach the doors. All the coats of paint are applied to the cupboard and it looks absolutely amazing. It does. <laughs> and in the meantime, while I was painting, Fabio installed already something really, really nice. Yes. Look, Look at, at this. this. <laughs> it's two LED bars just under the cupboard here, so we're gonna have a lot of light when we are cooking. Or oh, when I'm cooking. Hey, I'm cooking too here, you know? And the last step of the day is attaching the doors. Finally. Finally. Like we need to, like, let's really stop doing this. Not because I don't want to be bothered by this anymore, but just because also the wood is gonna work and we're gonna need to readjust everything probably after a couple of weeks anyway. Mm -hmm. Perfect, no? I think it is pretty so, perfect. You wanna make the other one too? I don't know. What mm. do you think? I just need to screw also the. Beep, beep. 
<laughs> wow, it's really dry. Mm -hmm. Good. It's so sugary. Yeah. And here we go, guys. We put the first three doors. They look so good. Look amazing. We're already trying all the other features too. And they're almost perfect. Come on, like we is the best we can do and like they look really nice we love it especially with the green it's really amazing and now we're gonna do the other ones the door is gonna be cool can you please take a look at our beautiful doors there in the front wow 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 <laughs> well, from this perspective they look really good and straight yeah So guys, that's it for this week's video and we just want to give you a little review of how we like our design and what we yeah. think about it now living in the van for almost four months now. Mm -hmm. almost, yeah. So the cabin style with the dark green, we absolutely love it. It's such a nice contrast to the mainly white van that we have mm -hmm. and we really love that yeah. not everything is completely white and bright in here and we still really, really love the design. Yeah, exactly. And they really merge everything together after mm -hmm. when we finish all the van you see like really how everything fits in the colors and contrasts. Yeah, we still haven't added the arms that keeps the doors open. So mm -hmm. for now, whenever we open the cabinet doors, we still have to hold it open. Yeah, and, and use our heads yeah. to actually do that. <laughs> that's a bit annoying, but we still didn't do it because yeah. we didn't have the time to do it. <laughs> yeah, we have been quite lazy, like especially like leaving here for 10 and mm -hmm. surfing and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but, but also really busy with it. working. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I've been working a lot. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions or just want to say hello to us, please leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to follow us and keep like seeing the building how it's going to end up, just think about subscribing. And if you do, we're going to see you next week. Bye. Bye. So I just put the varnish on the drawers for the upper cabinet. <laughs> so review is the right word, no? Review. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep this for tomorrow. Because mm -hmm. I really want to have a nice feeling to end today and not yeah, be not super annoyed about. again. Yeah, because you're already, already stressing about it. Huh? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, what? What do you want? Now we're just gonna use all the electricity. Uh, mm -hmm. Just cost us 3000 euros, Lucky. For free. Yeah. If you like a little.